everybody. Andy Roman here. This episode of Get Real with Andy, I'm calling Human Stupidity. I'd like to start off with a quote. It's one of my favorite quotes from Albert Einstein, where he said, the universe and human stupidity are both infinite, and I'm not sure about the universe. Stupidity is really different from ignorance, because it's not really stupid to not know what you don't know. But it is kind of stupid to do stuff that goes against what we know to be good. The, the classic image of stupidity is this. You know, listen, if something is not good for you, it's not good for other people, and it's not good for the planet or good for animals, it's kind of stupid because we are all in this together. I've filtered it down to this statement. The essence of stupid is the ignorance of unity. When we don't know that we're all together in this, that win-win is just the way to go. When we're divisive and somehow are pressing the issue to continue on a path that is obviously destructive, well, you know, that's kind of stupid. You know, there's other things that are stupid, some of which are done in the name of religion. Some of them are done in the name of culture. You know, there's just some things that are stupid, like anti-humanistic, unkind practices in any kind of culture or religion. They're just stupid. Genital mutilation, which is based on who Lord knows what. Whatever the rationale for it is, it's just stupid religious rituals that have no purpose, that are clearly antiquated, that it's people following rules for the sake of following rules. Now, that's kind of stupid. Rules are tools, except for fools. When I do something that's not that I know is not good for me, you know, that's stupid. It's not just lazy. It's not just self-distracting. It's actually stupid. You know, if I don't look at the big picture of things and, you know, take the consequences of my actions into account, at a certain point, that's just stupid. You know, our money system, a few episodes ago, I did a whole one on money, and I was fascinated with the fact that money is based on trust, and trust isn't stupid. But there are other things about our money system that are really stupid. Uh, you know, recessions and are, are built into the system. It's anticipated because our money system is based on debt. But because debt is involved, it, it just gets stupid. When people go hungry, when there's pl plenty of food to be had, that's just stupid. And there are certain human qualities that in and of themselves are stupid because they deny the underlying unity of things. Greed is stupid. Selfishness is stupid. You know, is it helpful to call it stupid? When I've been called out for my stupidity, to the degree that I'm prideful about things, I won't accept the feedback. But to the degree that I want to be reminded of the unity of things and how I might be playing a role in doing something against the planet or myself or other people, I do want to be called out. So maybe stupid is a little harsh. <clears throat> but I tell you, if Albert Einstein can use it, and, and there is a place where we need to face it and, and not be so prideful about our own stupidity. You know, I have the capacity to make consistent, wise choices. And why I don't? It's stupid. There's no excuse. And this isn't the time for excuses. All right. I guess being gentle would be good about it. But there's a time to be gentle about it. But we don't have time. There's some urgency about some of the issues that we collectively face. And we need to call stupid for what it is. Let's not be stupid. I don't want to do stupid anymore.
Thank you. Love you.